beloved, it's wonderful to be back with you. I really believe that the Holy Spirit has been showing some of you in the past days and weeks, just some of the wounds from fatherlessness or maybe where you felt abandoned by your earthly father. And we are just believing today. And, and this is what the Lord spoke a rhema word to me and said there is going to be a supernatural activation of the the impartation of his love, of his all-consuming love and love of a father. And so for you, for many of you who did not know the love of an earthly father in your growing up years, in your childhood years, maybe you grew up in a divorced home, maybe you were abandoned, maybe you just had a, a father who was maybe abusive or harsh to you and didn't show the attributes of our incredible, wonderful, compassionate heavenly father, that God is going to supernaturally, God said to me, he said, Wendy, I'm gonna break bonds. I'm gonna supernaturally activate in the spirit realm and break bonds. And for those of you, for some of you, and, and the Lord said to me, there are many, that there are many of you out there watching and watching today that you have, you have known the Father by faith, that, that, that you know Jesus and you've experienced the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. And even some of you have experienced the presence of the Holy Spirit, but that, that you've known the Father by faith, but that you have not known the all-consuming, all-embracing compassion and, and just overshadowing love of the Father, which would, can bring us to our knees just weeping and his overshadowing as he'd hold you to his breast and just love you as his child, as his baby, that you would know him as daddy. And so I just want to read just a little bit to you today from that Journal of the Unknown Prophet from volume six and it says, and now dearest child, it is to you I would speak, for surely over all the years past, has it not been I who gently took your hand and whose guiding present you sensed through so many desert places? We have sensed all of us that through many desert places. And you know, as we enter the end time season, which we are on the outskirts of now, there will be more desert places, but you know what? And that is why it's so important to receive the revelation of the love and the consuming presence of the Father in these end times. Because in the desert places, when you know the love of the Father and you tangibly know what it's like to feel His presence, you will never, never be alone. You will never, even in the darkest situation, you will never, never be alone. And yes, my dearest child, surely in these times of serving me, when much seemed barren and when the raging tempest threatened to overwhelm you, surely it was I and my holy angels who raised our standard on your behalf and calmed the storm. And the Lord said, it has been that in your walk with me upon the earth in this past church age that you grew to know my ways and you grew to know my book and you grew to know my voice in more intimacy and greater sensitivity. And I believe the Lord is speaking to some of you out there right now that you have done that. But now the Lord Jesus said, as I stand with my hands outstretched to you, I have come, this is the son talking, to take you on the last great journey. And even as you sense my person and my presence, so I mistakenly and reach out your, my, your hand and place it in mine, know this, that I myself, Jesus, have come to lead you out of this present church age and beyond the veil, that you, you may know the power and the glory and the majesty and the terror and the all-consuming passion that my Father holds for you. For surely the last and most glorious of revelations has been held up for this very day and for the end time hour of the church, the revelation of my Father. And so this day I walk among the cities of the earth, seeking, seeking for those who love to be with us, seeking for those who hunger for our presence, for it is to these that the power of the age to come shall be entrusted to these, the friends of the Father and to the friends of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Lord says, O oh, beloved child, surely if you've seen me truly, you will have seen my Father. For there is none like him. All I am is found in him and he is found in me. And beloved, in the season, it is not enough to know my name. It is not enough to know my word. But as you draw near to me and come and enter into my presence, you shall and receive a revelation of my Father. And 
I just, I'm just not going to read all of this, but I just want to read some of it. For I tell you that in this day, so the Father stirs himself to come and fellowship, to come and make his abode with his people, to come and reveal himself to those who love his son, to those who love my person. For it is coming the season of the Father and the Father, the glorious one, the creator of heaven and earth and all that exists beyond heaven and under the earth and the glory and the power and the power and the power. And Father, I ask right now for the glory, your glory and your power and your power and your power, Father, and your majesty. Father, your majesty shall start to fall as a mantle and your fear to descend, Father, and the awe of your person shall fall, Father, your great compassions. Father, your great compassions that shall overshadow your beloved, Father, as a mantle. And Father, now, Father, Father, I ask, Father, and, and Father, we activate and ignite the realm of the supernatural, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, if you have not known, if you have not known the love of the Father, then, 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 then fall to your knees, stand, but lift your hands right now, wherever you are, across the earth, if you're in Africa and you're in Asia, if you're in America, if you're in England and Scotland and Ireland and Europe, just, just fall to your knees if you're led to fall prostrate or lift your hands up. A Father in the name of Jesus and just start speaking in the spirit and just cry out and say, Father, Father, I have known Jesus. I've known the Lord Jesus and I have, I have sensed the presence and known your Holy Spirit. But Father, I have not known you as I have wanted to. And now just, just, I, I just feel that, that some of you should just repeat after me and say, Father, I did not have an earthly father. A father who was faithful to me. Father, I asked in this day, that in this hour, in this moment, that, that I who have known abandonment from my father, my earthly father, that I have known rejection from my earthly father, that you, I ask father, as my heavenly father, that you would start to heal me this day. Father, I ask that you would heal every broken promise where my earthly father let me down. Oh, Father, Father, show me your great love and compassions. Father, where my earthly father abandoned me. Father, show me your faithfulness. Father, I ask, Father, Father, I had a great father. I had, a, I had an amazing father, Father, because you knew that I needed that to hear you, Father. Father, now I ask, having been in this position, Father, I, and knowing the love of an earthly father and knowing your love, Father, I ask, Father, Father, for an impartation, Father, to every broken one, Father, in this area of the father relationship. Right now, I speak to you right now. I speak to your spirit right now with the authority given to me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I speak healing. I speak healing to you, beloved. I speak healing from your heavenly father who loves you, who's looking. This is not my eyes. Your heavenly father is looking to you and he would say to you, beloved child, I love you. Beloved child, I, your heavenly father, I am the great king, the emperor of heaven and earth. I sent my son, Jesus Christ, your savior, who you've received as your savior, but child, I loved you so much that I sent my son. I loved you so much, child, that I sent my son to die just for you. And where your earthly father forsook you and forsake you and left you and abandoned you, that was not my will, says the God of hosts. Where your earthly father disappointed you and rejected you and abused you and misused you. That was not my will, nor my plan for you, says the God of hosts, the Lord God of Israel. My child this day, you will receive healing from on high, from my heart, my father heart, for I and the God of all compassions. I am the God of all compassions. The Father heart, my heart for you, is a heart of compassion for you this day, my child. Oh, we have come to the end of our time. 
the anointing is still here. I am going to continue on this next week with the Father speaking to your heart. But beloved, even as you stand there, Father, I ask, Father, Holy Spirit, that you would, Father, not the, that you would just continue to minister to these ones that you are speaking to. Father, that they would know your love. Father, you are so wonderful. Father, you are so wonderful. You are the best Father on heaven and earth. There is no Father, even the best Father on earth that matches up to you. And Father, I thank you for this impartation, Father. I thank you, Father, till the next week, Father, even in the minutes and the hours and the days that you start the supernatural activation in the hearts and minds, Father, of these ones watching, Father, who have opened their hearts to you, Father. Father, that it will not even stop, Father, till we continue to pray next week. In the name of Jesus, amen.